We have a million questions to talk about disinflation, about whether Europe is becoming more like Japan, but let's start in the U.S. and the shutdown. If this is averted, or if there were to be, to be a shutdown on Friday, how bad would this be for the economy? Well, the second shutdown would do considerably more damage than the, I think, rather contained and partly reversible uh, damage from the first shutdown, because people would view this as a recurrent feature and would start adjusting their spending accordingly, both uh, on the households, directly and directly affected, and among corporates. So the optimistic mm -hmm. noises about uh, the shutdown uh, being avoided, the second one, uh, are definitely good news for the economy. Should we worry about the deficit, the American deficit, the U.S. deficit more, Willem? Of course we should. I mean, we're going to be running a 6% of GDP general government deficit uh, this year or thereabouts. And that's <clears throat> a full employment. It's not a structural deficit. This is completely unsustainable. At some point, the markets will wake up to that and will you know, punish uh, treasuries. But uh, at the moment, uh, the appetite is still such that we're getting away with, uh, you know, in 10 years uh, well, well below 3%. The appetite is such, and the interest rate is low, so it doesn't call that much to finance a deficit. There's a nagging thing out there, good morning to the memory of Pete Peterson, Paul Sangas, and others, that someday this is going to catch up with us. Yeah. Max Boot writes in the Washington Post, your Europe has a deficit to GDP of a blended 35% of GDP. America's is 108% of GDP. Do you just assume that one day the bill comes due? Yes, it will, uh, unless preventive corrective action is taken, and, uh, which is possible, but not likely under the current, uh, under the current regime. Does this debt fold in, Professor Bowder, into Larry Summers' idea of secular stagnation? Does the mass of the debt lead to a diminished or dampened productivity, l diminished innovation, which leads to a lesser economic growth. Well, the process generating the debt, which is government spending more or taxing less, is in fact counter to secular stagnation. But once the debt is out there, it acts in a depressing way on private demand, both households and corporate. So yes, it contributes to yeah. weaker demand and to what Larry calls secular stagnation.